Hello everybody, my name is Troublemaker. This is the War Game Cup 2012. Brought to you by UJAN Systems and a little bit of Intel. Watching probably one of the few NATO versus Pact matches of the remainder of the tournament possibly between uh, Droops, who is NATO, and the Homs Urs Pork, who is Pact. And, uh, I think I'm referring to him as Pigman, because Pork is Pork. Couchon was actually pig, and the home is man, so we'll call him pig man. And I've actually watched this match already in advance. I was actually talking to myself. I did not have recording softwares on, and I, I know what this match is like. I know what happens. So there is actually going to be a very early move here involving some Delta Force securing this Delta location, and um just an attempt at a very aggressive strategic play that's the only reason why it's dealt the force as you can see other units take a lot longer to show up and they would have been wiped out by these conquerors and armored eagles and tanks and all sorts of other stuff so I, I know how this go match goes guarantee which can be a long one but this will be a very short match for me to uh, commentate just because of what happens so the big part of this matchup is artillery and pigman gets his freedom this position of course immediately gets shelled out because well all the units are there and this gives pigman a very early lead uaz unloading conquers unloading everything getting wiped out from this location and uh, this is not an easy location to really maintain uh it's you know really far away from the reinforcement point which is of course bravo and an easier one to maintain of course is echo which is where he moves his VBPC. So now we have two Amex OPs out for Droops, and we have three Malkas out for Homes. So now, a big difference here is that that Pigman has FOBs. He has two of them. From Droops, we see no FOBs at all. So he's actually going to have to resupply this ar artillery with a lot of supply trucks on the spot. Now, it appears to me, watching this match, that Droops originally had a very, very different plan for this game than what he ended up with. I imagine that he initially wanted to um, do something in which he just slowly pushed forward in the battle, but unfortunately that didn't happen as you see. As it turns out, both men have actually created very large defensive networks that are very hard to really push out. And when your opponent is heavy, heavy defense, the answer is artillery. And of course, the disadvantage here for Droops is that he has no supply, except for the ones that he'll build from supply trucks. And so in the meantime, it gives Pigman a very strong advantage, as he can just shell out every single location on the map without even having to worry about supply. Now, you do see another command has been deployed for Droops. He's going for a three command high high economy play 25 minutes left in the game so plenty of time to earn those points back that he just spent and both players have some good positions along the map the position that pigman has is definitely one you want and here comes a relatively small attack but the key is it has lots of flamethrower vehicles which are of course devastating to infantry and this location is all infantry if you are wanting to learn how to play the game uh oh Here's a neat little fact. Uh, on this particular map, there's a little bit of an imbalance. There's actually a town here, which makes this location easier for the enemy to hit, but also makes it easier to defend as well, if you already have units in there. If the enemy has units in there, suddenly it's a problem. And both units are actually shelling at this location with artillery. And we see some Saracens being deployed, and they are out. We have the Fusilias killing off the anti two vehicle, and killing off the cavalry tank. And there's lots of Fusilias moving around, trying to take what they can. Uh, there is still a TL-55 here. They did kill a TL-62, which is pretty big, and a Saracen down. The Ural actually moving to support the TL-55 as a Fusilier comes to take it out. And that's the madness that is this game. He now has extra Urals for his artillery, which is something he desperately needs. And um, Delta Force being pushed out here by three, count three TL-55. Delta Force trying to rush forward into these Conquerors. The Conquerors actually being micro very, very well. Just push and move, push and move, and he actually gets the recon as well. More artillery on this location. 
Uh, a lot of this matchup hasn't been decided by these small plays. It's actually been decided by artillery fire. Just because the artillery fire can hit some prize units at randomness. And one of the big diminishing factors here is the fact that actually Droops has been using his artillery very effectively, whereas um, Big Man has not. He has not been using his artillery very well. And it's just not. It should be going non stop, but it's not. You can see he has three more Mulkas here just deployed. So now he has six artillery on the map. And whoa, 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 whoa. Six Amex OPs as well. So it's a battle of six artillery, six artillery. These are also all very, very expensive artillery. The Mulkas are costing 100 each. So they spent 300. And the Amex is also 100. So that's 400 resources worth of units. And now both players are really playing this off to fate. And this is kind of scary because these are. They're not, they're, they are amateurs, but they're not like total noobs. They're not 1500 raid, they're like 1600 and 1700. So for them to go for this kind of artillery all in, which by the way is actually a viable strategy on this map, by the way, just throw it out there, it's kind of scary. It means that anyone can win random fire. It's all about picking locations and targeting. Uh, currently, Pigman going for the Saracen, uh, he can, he, it's something he can destroy, but it's not something that's particularly valuable. And, um, Pigman, of course, wrapping around a lot of units in hopes of just picking anything off, which would be huge. There's no FOB here, but there are lots of OPs, and look how much supply you actually have to get in. He's actually bringing these Pumas because he's ran out of empty Jupiters and Hemets, interestingly enough. And now he's just getting a lot of recon helicopters? That's weird. Probably wants a spot for these artillery, but there's only four minutes left in the matchup. Droops has a slight lead, and by slight, I mean 60 and desperation could kick in at this point. It's very close, and it's possible that Pigman could just rush forward. It gets kind of desperate when you're both going to artillery versus artillery, and the other guy's artillery is winning, and look, look at this. Defensive gazelles being deployed. He's deploying them to the south, realizing that this is a defensive play, and look at this. He's using the supply helicopters in the lead. No, he's piling them in the corner. He doesn't want to lose these, I see. And But he has a lot of helicopters here deployed for the last minute and often gazelle swap up and um, commands are both getting pulled both commands getting pulled in destruction matches generally speaking at the end of the match you want to pull your command into a safer location just because if you lose it it's the end of the game um, not a big win for droops not a particularly great show but I thought I'd show this match just to kind of show off that this is actually a viable way of playing this map artillery does very well and they both used it. And these are both relatively high level players. So Bastion, it's not an exciting game. But I felt like you guys should see it just for that fact. My name is Troublemaker. And I do have more coming, so stay tuned.